was the pig fair last September, a day I well remember. I was walking up and down in drunken pride, when my knees began to flutter, and I sank down in the gutter, and a pig came up and lay down by my side. As I lay there in the gutter, thinking thoughts I could not utter, I thought I heard a passing lady say, You can tell the man who boozes by the company he chooses. And with that, the pig got up and walked away. You've heard of General Wellington, who won at Waterloo. But there's a good old Irish man I'll mention unto you. He comes from dear old Dublin. He's a man we all applaud. For he always finds a corkscrew far more handy than a sword. He's good old General Guinness. He's a soldier strong and stout. He's found on every bottle front, and he can't be done without. His noble name and his worldwide fame deserve three hearty cheers. Hurrah for General Guinness of the Dublin Boozeliers! This hale and hearty warrior is worshipped in the ranks, for he does his task inside the cask as well as in the tanks. He's borne the brunt on every front, north, south, east, and west. And he wears about ten million canteen medals on his chest. He's good old General Guinness. He has won the world's applause. T'was he who kept our spirits up in the midst of all our wars. Who was the first to flirt with Mademoiselle from Armateers? Why, good old General Guinness of the Dublin Boozeliers. All over Bonnie Scotland to the general is seen. They've given him the freedom of the tune of Aberdeen. From Inverness to Galashiers, he keeps them warm and bright. Then they love to gather round him on every moonlit night. He's good old General Guinness. He's as good as Scottish broth. T'was he who turned the Firth of Forth into the Firth of Froth. All Scotsmen dance the Highland fling and shout when he appears. Hurrah for General Guinness of the Dublin Boozley.